The child first principle of youth justice is being used currently as a strategic objective for the youth justice system. It's a principled approach to dealing with children when they offend as children first rather than offenders first. Children who offend should be treated as children rather than offenders because it maximises positive outcomes for that child, for communities, for victims, for society in general, and minimises negative outcomes that are associated with treating children primarily as offenders. And those negative outcomes can be further criminalisation, uh, labelling, stigmatisation, marginalisation, lowering of life chances, and an increased likelihood of the child reoffending and therefore harming other people, harming society, harming themselves, costing society money, etc. So a child first approach is sustainable in social and economic terms. It's also much more ethical and in line with existing evidence bases which show that children don't fully mature physically, psychologically, emotionally, cognitively and neurologically until they're much older than the 10 to 17 year old age range for children in the youth justice system of England and Wales. We hope that this report will give the youth justice sector the confidence in child first as a long-standing evidence-based approach to changing the youth justice system in England and Wales and internationally. Never before has the evidence for each of the component parts of Child First and the Child First as an holistic model been brought together in one place. And so we feel that once this report's disseminated to key stakeholders, to policymakers, to practitioners, to children and families, for example, in the sector, they'll feel that they have the permission, the information, and the space and the confidence to be able to implement child first comprehensively in their work.